Hi everyone, this is Mrs. Snook with section 3.7, and this is lines in the coordinate plane. And we're going to graph and write linear equations. These are equations of lines. So just to remind you of some formulas from Algebra 1, slope is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1, and that means that you know two coordinates, x1, y1, and x2, y2. If you have those two coordinates, you can calculate your slope. Point slope form, that's where if you know the slope and you know one point, you put the slope in right here, and then the x and y values of the point go in x1 and y1, and that lets you write one form of the equation of the line. And then there is slope intercept form, your slope goes right here in front of the x. D is your y-intercept. That means it crosses the y-axis at B. So something like that. That right there is the point 0, D. And that is probably the most popular form of the equation of lines. It makes it very easy to graph. And then two more, just as a reminder, horizontal lines. Horizontal lines go side to side. And those are in the form y equals b. So if I was to graph one of those, right there is the point 0, b. Vertical lines, those go up and down. And their form is x equals a. So you have a graph, you have a vertical line, and it's crossing the x-axis at the point A0. So if it's vertical, all you got to do is take that x-coordinate, and then you write x equals whatever the x-coordinate is. All right, so we're going to do some practice. Uh, write an equation for the line through each set of points. Write slanted lines in slope-intercept form. So our first one, we have this blue line. We have the graph, but we've also got points labeled. And we're going to write the equation of the line through those points. So first thing we need to do is get the slope. So slope equals y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So I'm going to call this one, this is x1, that's y1, this is x2, that is y2. So 3 minus 6, that's y2 minus y1, over 3 minus 1, I get a negative 3 over 2. That's my slope. And now I'm going to start with point slope form. So y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1 y minus 6 equals negative 3 halves times x minus 1. And then all I got to do is a little bit of um, distributing and rearrange a little bit, and I will be in slope-intercept form. So let's add 6 to both sides. So y equals negative 3 halves, x minus 1, plus 6. Distribute your 3 halves, so I get negative 3 halves x plus 3 halves plus 6. So y equals negative 3 halves x plus 15 halves. And that one's done. Alright, our next one. This is a vertical line. My equation is going to be x equals, and then all I got to do is choose the x-coordinate. Notice that's 2 and that's 2. They're both the same. So it doesn't matter which one I pick, my line is x equals 2. This one's a horizontal line. So that's going to be in the form y equals. Look at your y-coordinates. It's 3 in both cases. So y equals 3, and that's done. All right, so now we're going to do the same thing, but we're not going to actually have a graph. We're just going to use information. The line is vertical, 
and through the point 1, negative 5. Vertical line. It goes through the point 1, negative 5. So here's 1. Goes through this point. Goes vertical. So use the x coordinate, x equals 1. Line has a slope of 3 and a y intercept of negative 9. That means that m equals 3, b equals negative 9, so y equals 3x minus 9. Let's plug in through slope intercept form. Uh, line has a slope of negative 2 and passes through the point 1, negative 3. Should be a comma there. Now, I showed you in the last example where you can do this using point slope form. Here's another method that you can use. Just want to show this to you in case you haven't seen it. I know that in point slope form, sorry, I mean slope intercept form, I have y equals mx plus b. That's the form I want. I want slope intercept form. I already have the slope. So I know I'm going to have a negative 2x plus b equals y. And I'm also given an x and a y. So I can just plug in and solve for b. So that means that y is negative 3 equals negative 2 times x, which is 1, plus b. I get negative 3 equals negative 2 plus b. Add 2 to both sides, negative 1 equals b. So now my equation is y equals negative 2x minus 1. You're welcome to use that method as well. Last one, a line passes through the point 0, 7 and negative 5, 4. I'm just given two points. Here's x1, y1, x2, y2. First thing I need to do is get the slope. So m equals 4 minus 7 over negative 5 minus 0. I get negative 3 over negative 5. I'm dividing and I've got an even number of negatives, so my answer is positive, so 3 over 5. I also want you to notice that we have a point whose x-coordinate is 0. We have 0, 7. That means that is the y-intercept. So I can write this equation. y equals 3 fifths x plus 7. Because I have the y-intercept given to me. Okay, now we're going to graph some lines. This one is line y equals 5. I'm going to change colors just to make it easier to uh, see the line I'm graphing. So y equals 5. So I'm going to come up to 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. y equals, that means horizontal. So right through here. There's my line. Okay, next one, y equals 5x. That's the same thing as 5x plus 0. Which means my y-intercept is right here at the origin. My slope is 5. So I'm going to count up 5 boxes and over 1 box. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, over 1. And there's my line. Next one is 5x minus 3. So that means my y-intercept, that's right there, is negative 3. So count down 3 from the origin. 1, 2, 3. Slope is the same as the last one. It's parallel to it because it's got the same slope. So count up Five boxes, one, two, three, four, five, over one. And there's that line. Okay, next one. Try graphing this one on your own. So pause the video, 
graph y equals negative 4 thirds x plus 1, and then see how you did. Pause the video now. So did you get a line that looks like this? Start at your y-intercept, which is 1. Count down four boxes, and then over three, there's your second point, and you can draw your line. Next one, x equals three. That one's vertical because of x equals, sorry, x equals negative five. So go to negative five. One, two, three, four, five, and then draw a vertical line. There you go. This one, this is in point slope form. What's really nice about this is that it gives us our slope. So m equals 2 over 7, and it tells us one point. This right here is minus x1, so x1 is negative 4. That right there is minus y1, so my y1 is 5. So careful about that. Make sure you're changing your signs when you write your point. My point is negative 4, 5, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then use my slope, 2 sevenths. I'm going to go up by 2, and then over 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. There's that second point, and then I can just draw my line. All right, that's it for today's lesson. Thank you for watching, and have a great day.